So, if the title looks incredibly familiar, it should. Back in 2017, I made a video called White People Are Under Attack. This video is a remake because there is so much more to say now than there was then. There are so many points to prove that white people are truly under attack and that we are the ones who are the victims these days, not black people. Now lately I've been making a lot of videos already proving this by gearing it more towards Black Lives Matter and how they're a terrorist organization and they're hypocrites. All the videos I've been making recently are videos that you guys should be watching to check out, you'll learn a lot. In the past month, which is when I made all these videos, I've lost three subscribers, which is fine. I mean, all these people who hate facts, if they want to hate me for speaking said facts because they're afraid that black people will come after them if they, dis if, if they agree with me, yeah, that's why, I know why, then fine, fuck off. Again, Matt's FTR is a warrior of truth, and if you can't handle it, goodbye. Anyway, we're going to get into... Pretty much all the points that I said in that original video, and then also adding in some more. I want to just start off with one that I didn't write down in my script because I don't want to forget it. I made this amazing video that I really think you guys should watch if you haven't seen it. It's called The Truth About Slavery and Modern Racism. In this video, I just go on about the truth, <laughs> as always. But there are two points in this video that I want to say in this video so that you know, it's more clear. There is a massive political narrative to make sure that white people are seen as the attackers and black people are seen as the victims. And as I've proven r repeatedly, we live in a backwards world because the truth is actually the opposite. Whites are the victims and black people are the attackers, as well as SJWs that support, you know, that kind of shit, right? And the two important points in this video is just how indoctrinated you are when it comes to, like, school and your education. When you learn about slavery pretty much anywhere, the consensus is just white people are the slave owners, black people are the, are the slaves. And that's not the truth. It is true to an extent. Black people were the primary slaves and white people were the primary slave owners. But there are two primary facts that you will never be taught in school because it goes against the narrative. Number one is that, in this video I said this by the way, in the 1600s, white people actually outnumbered the black slaves. Yeah, they did. You will never learn that in school because it goes against their political narrative. But the second thing is that hundreds of years ago, there was also a record number of black slave owners. Because what people don't get is that being a slave or being a slave owner was not just about your skin color. Okay? <laughs> you weren't just a slave owner because you were white, boom, and that's how it worked. That's what your tiny mind tells you. The truth is, slave owning and being a slave was about money. Money. It had nothing to do with your skin color, it was just about money. Except that back then, white people had most of the money, unfortunately. But there were a record number of black slave owners because some of them just so happened to have enough money. So it wasn't about skin color, specifically. That's, that's just the, you know, where it geared off to. But in general, it was about money. You'll never learn that from your fucking professors, but let's, let's continue with more points. The next point is affirmative action. Affirmative action only supports people of color. Affirmative action is what gives black people preferential treatment for jobs or getting free college and things like that. White people don't get that. Here's my next point. Remember back in 2016, there was that sign that said, it's okay to be white. Remember that sign? SJWs in the mainstream media went crazy saying that that sign was white supremacy. Let's think about this for two seconds. Somebody creates a sign to help white people stop feeling attacked all the time because uh, we are attacked all the time. So somebody made a sign to help us and say, listen, don't feel so bad for being white. You can't control the way you were born. You know, it's terrible that SJWs and the media and Hollywood is constantly going against you, saying you're an evil piece of shit, you deserve to die and all this stuff. It's okay to be white. It's okay. And then that sign, and then that sign gets called white supremacy. How fucking stupid. Like, that's how you know white people are being attacked, that white people can't even tell each other that it's okay to be born this way without being called a white supremacist and, made, being, and being made to feel even worse. Unbelievable. The next one is uh, the definition of racism in general. People still don't understand that the definition has been changed because these are sane people who are not part of the, the insanity of seeing that it's been changed. But 
as we know, racism is about prejudice and discrimination of anybody, anybody, including white people, based on skin color. The racism, the racism definition has been changed now. I made a video on this, by the way. If you go to my channel, there's a video on my channel called Racism. The definition of racism has been changed. But anyway, basically, SJWs for years have been wanting the definition to be if you have white skin, you're racist. And to summarize, again, what they believe is that racism has nothing to do with hatred, but rather it's about position of power. And SJWs believe that white people have naturally more power, which, by the way, is racist to say, but regardless, that's what they think. And since they think that white people have naturally more power, they think that all white people are racist from birth, which is absolutely fucking stupid. And officially, just recently, the definition has actually been changed in the dictionary. I'm serious. So, like, how can you not, how can you tell me that white people aren't under attack when the definition of racism has now been changed to, if you're born with white skin, you're racist? That's unbelievably fucking racist. And I fought hard for that definition to not be changed, but one black woman was able to change it. How ironic, by the way. If the person who wanted to change a definition was white, pretty sure they would ignore them, but because a black person asked for the dictionary to be changed, oh, we'll do it for you. Yeah, of course. The next one is the OK hand symbol, the okay hand symbol being called a white supremacy symbol. I made a video on this too. Go to my page. But yes, the new thing, not new thing, it's actually been a couple years now, but doing this, according to SJWs, means that you're a white supremacist. People have literally been caught doing this, but only as an OK symbol because that's what it is. But if you do this as an OK and you didn't know that SJWs think it's a white supremacy symbol, you'll be like fired from a job or insulted if you, if you happen to be on social media. And people have been, people have done this like, just to say, okay, for example, one guy that I mentioned in my video was a Mexican guy who was just cracking his knuckle in his car, and it looked like he was doing this, and he got fired from his fucking job because of what SJWs believe. How sick. Remember Tony Timpa? I talked about him in one of my videos. He was a guy who was strangled to death in the same way that George Floyd was. The only difference was that the cop was laughing while doing it, and Tony Timpa got no media coverage, but George Floyd got all the media coverage in the world. Why? Because George Floyd is black and Tony Tempa is white. That's the reason. That is the reason. And let's keep in mind that George Floyd wasn't even a good person. Like, <laughs> this guy gets worldwide fucking news coverage, and he held up a pregnant woman at gunpoint. But Tony Tempa, yeah, well, let's ignore him because his white skin, eh, his white skin, fuck off. The next is, remember back in 2016, that disabled Trump supporter who got attacked in the CNN anchor, all she had to say was, oh my goodness, poor white people. Man, if we said poor black people, there'd be riots in the streets. Because it's poor white people, no one cares. And that special needs Trump supporter who was attacked, he was attacked by three black people. And I believe it was MSNBC actually manipulated the story to make it appear as if it was three white guys attacking a black guy. Of course. And next is Daniel Shaver. And before somebody comments saying, Matt, you're only mentioning three white people. Yeah, no, this is three white people that I'm mentioning, but there have been hundreds. There's a reason why white people are statistically actually shot more than black people, because there are hundreds of cases. I'm just giving you three primary ones. But Daniel Shaver was a guy who was literally shot by a police officer after the police officer made him do all kinds of weird things like crawl on the floor and shit got very little media coverage, and why? Because he's a white guy. What a big fucking shock there as well. Next thing is Jussie Smollett and the fake hate crimes. You guys know who Jussie Smollett is. He made up that fake hate crime, but he's not the only one, and for those of you who's going to say that he is, I would suggest you go and watch this video right here that I made, Jussie Smollett and um, update and fake hate crimes. Go watch this video, because in this video, I make some amazing points that you really should hear about fake hate crimes in general. And yes, most of them are against white people because why not? Side note, by the way, if white people were so evil doing all these things like they're racist and committing, and committing hate crimes, then why would so many fake ones need to be created if white people were just naturally so horrible? Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? And in my video, I mentioned this article right here. 
please keep in mind one thing though. This article only goes from 2015 to 2018. I could not find a list for 2019 and 2020, but the point remains from what you'll see here. 639 acts of either hate crimes against white people, fake hate crimes, or just Trump supporters being attacked. 639 cases over the span of three years. If that doesn't tell you something, then you're just a dense motherfucker. There's all kinds of fake hate crimes and just hate crimes in general that are not reported because white people are victims in them and the media doesn't care. Next is TV shows and movies kicking off white people and replacing them with black people or, re or rebooting shows with black people. Look at all of the modern movies and TV shows that are just replacing the white people with black people or rebooting a show with now all of a sudden the main character is black or our family is black. I've made many videos talking about Hollywood and how they're corrupt and how they're like changing races and stuff like this. And I made it abundantly clear in that video, it's not bad at all to make a movie or a show or a game with black people. The problem is when you take something that already exists and changing it to only put black people in it because you're, you're admitting that you're doing this for a political narrative. Imagine if there was a show that started off with black people and we changed it to white people. That would be called racist. But doing it from white to black, that's okay, right? Yeah, and white people aren't attacked, sure. The next thing is how the mainstream media, and I've already talked about this, but the mainstream media is artificially inflating the numbers when white people are the attackers and blacks are the victims, and deflating the numbers when blacks are the attackers and white people are the victims. The media has been doing this for a couple years now, and it's disgusting. How about how many TV shows lately, like Last Man Standing and many others, get cancelled if they make jokes against people of color or the left, but yet they'll be promoted if they make jokes about white people? Remember a video I made a little while ago called Racist Anti-Black Tweets? Go on my channel right now and watch it. Basically, I'll give you a summary though. I made a video where I read a bunch of random tweets on Twitter from SJWs. Basically, in the tweets, they were racist tweets against black people. However, in reality, they were racist tweets against white people. It's just that whenever the SJW said white people in the tweet, I read black people. I deliberately changed the race of the person mentioned in the tweet. I did this because I wanted to see if people in the comments would say, those tweets are very racist against black people. And then at the end of the video, when I admit actually these were anti-white tweets, I wanted to see if SJWs would still call them racist when they found out they are about white people. Because the truth is, SJWs think it's perfectly fine to be racist towards white people because they can't face racism, apparently, even though we can. But I wanted to see if they'd find the exact same tweet racist if they thought it was about black people that they were okay with when they thought it was against white people. It's actually a really great video I made with a great point to it. Go on my channel and check it out. But this, yeah, further proves that white people are under attack because SJWs don't care about attacking white people. They'll say all kinds of things like, I hate white people. White people should die. I can't go to the movies because there's white people there. I wish white people would leave this, of this office building because they make me uncomfortable. If you said all that stuff about black people, you'd be called a racist. But if you say the same shit against white people, nobody fucking cares. Incredible. The next is Antifa being promoted by the media as an anti-racist group, and meanwhile they're a terrorist group that goes, that goes around attacking anyone on the right who supports Trump or has white skin. Antifa is, is a terrorist organization, and Project Veritas already proved this. The next is Black Lives Matter being promoted as an anti-racist group, but everyone ignores that the founder of Black Lives Matter admitted to hating white people and considers a terrorist as one of her inspirations, and if anyone points out this fact, they're called a white supremacist. I literally made a video on my channel, which you should also check out. It's called um, Black Lives Matter is a Terrorist Organization. Proof, it's on my channel, go watch it. And I, sh and I prove this, that the founder of Black Lives Matter listed a terrorist as one of her inspirations, but no, no, Black Lives Matter just cares about racism, right? No. It's all about the political narrative. Next, white people aren't allowed to say that they have white pride, but black people can say that they have black pride. Next, white people, at least where I live, here in Canada, are constantly shafted for jobs. Blacks are given preferential treatment just for having black skin, and if you look up 
job ads online, many of them say blacks preferred. But if a job ad said whites preferred, it would be called racist. This is despite the fact that white people have the highest population for unemployment and homelessness. Explain that one. The next is saying all lives matter is considered white supremacy. Meanwhile, the only reason we say that is because white people are shot by police more. But blacks are called the victims, of course. Side note, yes, blacks face more police brutality, but blacks are statistically more likely to come in contact with a cop, and this is because they make up only 13% of the population, but commit more than half of all crimes. These are stats, even if you don't like it. So that's why we say all lives matter, because if you say, the, if you say black lives matter, what you think you're trying to say is that black people keep being killed, so we want them to matter, and then all lives will. But that's not the truth. White people are shot more, but black people face more brutality. Which means that we're kind of balanced, I guess. I think it's a little bit worse for white people, but we're mostly balanced. So that's why it actually makes more sense to say all lives matter. But we can't say that because that's white supremacy. Next, whenever debates go on at college or university campuses, white people are constantly shut down and told to shut up. You guys know it. I don't need to tell you. Look at all the videos we can find on YouTube of college campus like debates. Every time a white person even dares to speak, they're called a racist, told to shut up, kicked out, all this shit because they're telling facts that make SJWs uncomfortable. But if a black person wants to speak, it's perfectly fine, right? This happens at college and university campuses all the time because of these deluded SJW kids who don't understand how the world works and they also can't handle, handle debate. And the last thing is white privilege. I am so sick of this white privilege bullshit. Look at all the facts I just told you in this video. Anybody who watches this video and has any comprehension of the real world whatsoever knows that white privilege is a load of shit. You are not privileged by having white skin. In fact, with the evidence I've shown, the, the, the truth is that you are actually oppressed if you have white skin. Maybe not oppressed in general, but because of what's happening in modern day with white people being made to feel guilty for everything, made to apologize for what our ancestors did, the, the Hollywood hating white people, the mainstream media hating white people, the school system hating white people, SJWs hating white people, all of these terrorist organizations that are against white people. How can you possibly look at all that and say blacks are the victims? It makes no sense. There is no such thing as white privilege. But in this video, I have shown you multiple examples of black privilege. Okay? You have the media on your side, Hollywood on your side, pretty much every single organization is on your side. Nobody cares about white people anymore. Even an employee who works for, I believe it was Facebook, Project Veritas, even exposed this woman literally was caught on camera saying, nobody cares about the white man anymore. You even have people who are within social media like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, admitting that everyone hates white people, and yet you'll still say that we're the privileged one. Where is this fucking privilege? Can you show me the privilege? Because I can't fucking see it. And no white person can because it doesn't simply fucking exist. You will literally see videos for example, keep in mind there's hundreds of videos like this, but I can't name them all. My video will be an hour long. I'll give you one example of how the white privilege term is not only false, but is being used to attack us. I saw a video on YouTube. There was um, some graffiti on a wall. It wasn't even like good graffiti, like, you know, well, what SJWs think is good, right? Like, for example, if, if a black person spray painted BLM on a wall, SJWs would say, yeah, that's supporting Black Lives Matter. Leave that graffiti up. But there was a video of these girls painting over regular graffiti, and somebody drove up saying, you really shouldn't be, uh, you know, painting over that because black people wrote that graffiti. What a way to use your white privilege. It's white privilege that the white people have to work and paint over graffiti that black people did. That's one example of hundreds that I have seen. There is no such thing as white privilege, and to make matters worse, SJWs are actually using the white privilege term to guilt white people, attack white people, put white people down and make them feel guilty and horrible about themselves for being born this way. White privilege is not a statement to actually help anybody. 
it's specifically meant for the purpose of attacking anybody with white skin, and there's no privilege in that whatsoever.